Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, I'm going to explain that what is lapping length and why we provide the lapping length and the steel bars in the columns, beam and slab. So, let's consider a steel bar. The steel bar is usually manufactured in the company with the length, with a standard length of 12 meter. The standard, this is a steel bar. So the standard length, standard length of the steel bar produced in the company is 12 meter. They are not produced greater than the 12 meter. But if you look on the construction site, we have buildings, for example, this is a column, this is in a column, and here is a beam, and then again this is a column. So if I consider the height of this column coming from the top to bottom is, for example, is 30 meter, just an example. And this beam is, for example, going on with a length of more than 25 meter, for example. So, what we do here, if we look to the length is 30 meter, the height of the column is 30 meter. So, the standard length of the steel bar is 12 meter. So, if I consider the bar here, there is a steel bar coming from the top. So, if I consider this is the length of 12 meter bar. This is 12 meter now so we cannot bring this bar more than 12 meter while the height we see here the height of the building of the column is 30 meter so what we do here we provide another steel bar here here we put another steel bar and we join these two bar together so now the load the load from this bar it is the load coming on this part this bar is now transferred by this lapping length to this bar so this is the main reason that why we provide the lapping in the steel bars to transfer to to safely to safely transfer the load transfer the stresses or load from one from one steel from one bar steel bar to another bar so in this way the load coming on this column for example if we look to this column the load is coming there is a steel bar this takes the steel bar load but now there is another steel bar connected to this bar and it transfers the load to, from this bar to this bar and simply carries the load to the foundation similarly here so this is a beam of 25 meter length so if I consider this is a one steel bar, let's suppose this is 12 meter. So what we do here, we provide another steel bar in order to transfer the load. Because the length of the standard bar is 12 meter, here you see. So what we do, we connect this bar here with a lapping length. So now this is known as the lapping length, this one. And now it transfers the load from this bar to this bar. So you understand that why we provide lapping length in order to transfer the load or stresses from one steel bar to another steel bar in order to, to have continuation in our structure member. Now this lapping length varies depending on the structure members. For example, for columns, for columns this lapping length is equal to the 45D where D is the diameter of the steel bar. For beams, for beams, this value is 24D. D is the diameter bar for compression. When there is a compression in the steel bar, you should provide 24D. When there is a tension, then you have to provide 50 into D for the tension zone. When the steel bar is in tension. Similarly, for the slabs, the overlapping length formula is equal to the 60 into D where D is the diameter of the bar. This is for slave element. So there are different formulas used provided by the codes for determining the overlapping length. And it should also be kept in mind that the lapping length should never be less than the 75 millimeter. It should always be greater than the 75 millimeter. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.